In this video, friends, we're talking about a shoe care product that needs no introduction at all. Guys, we're talking Venetian Shoe Cream. If you've been around boots for a while, I'm sure you've heard this name. Now guys, we end up spending a lot of money on our boots, and if taken care of well, these things are gonna last into the ages. And so in this video, I'm keen to find out if maybe Venetian Shoe Cream is something that you wanna add to your boot care routine. I ended up buying this in the medium brown. It comes in black, dark brown, and neutral. I haven't found the pigment to be too extreme so when I'm out with this bottle I'm gonna just opt for the neutral now this is about seven dollars for three ounces so for two dollars and fifty cents an ounce it really can't be beat and with the quality you're getting it's really a good deal I've had this for several years and I couldn't be happier not only does Venetian talk this stuff up but just about everybody else does it for them guys whether it's Horween leather who makes Chrome XL or Viberg boots Many bootmakers will say, this is what you should run on your boots. Now it's meant for all different types of leathers. It talks about it a little bit on the label and there's really just not too many that they don't say it'll run on. One of the things is a lot of antique dealers and even museum curators will recommend this stuff for antiques, whether it's an old camera strap, a leather bound book and so forth. So it's supposed to not only recondition, but it's gonna bring some of these old relics back to life. It's based in the USA, been around since 1907, and so this is a product that we can definitely get behind here on the gentleman's journey. Venetian is made of oils, cleaners, and waxes. Now this is a little bit different shine than maybe the Big Four or the Red Wing Leather Cream. It has a bit more wax, and so I think that's what's gonna give it that shine afterwards. I really accredit some of those cleaners to probably the harsh smell. It's just different than other cleaners out there. Uh, so I would run it either with a set of rubber gloves even, or make sure you have some kind of cloth. It's just not the kind of look or smell a gentleman wants as he goes throughout his day. As far as protection, I would still plan on running some kind of leather protector spray over the top, especially during those winter months. If you're getting from the car to work or even headed in to do some shopping or something and there's gonna be puddles of water, it's just not the most intense conditioner. Now guys, I always say you're probably going to have to just get a different set of boots if you want to go traipsing through the woods or hunting. You know, every gentleman needs a few different set of boots. We talked about this in my boot collection 2021, but if you're really going to run those chrome Excel boots or the oil tan and you just want to guys throw some snow seal on them or some mink oil, something like that, if you really just got to run those in the middle of winter. I've been itching to get this stuff on the boots and just show you guys how it works. For this video, I'm gonna use my Thursdays in brown. This is that Thursday chrome veg tan leather. It's their proprietary leather. And so this is an awesome option for this cream right here. Now I went ahead and pulled the laces and what I'm gonna do is just finish up hitting it with my horsehair brush. I already did the rest of the boot, but I'm gonna make sure and get that tongue real good. And so friends, I'm not cleaning these boots this time. I've talked to you about it in different videos, but I don't clean my boots every time I polish them or condition them. And that's just because I don't think it needs it. Uh, I have been a little scared off by guys saying that saddle soap is gonna tear out all the oils in the boots. And so we're gonna talk about some of that in some different videos, different types of sprays and whatnot that I think you should be running. But basically this stuff, you just wanna shake up really good. And we already talked about how you wanna apply it. You know, I wouldn't really just grab it barehanded. It's gonna turn them kind of a chocolatey color and that's just not what a gentleman wants. So of course Red Wing puts out their rags and I grab an old t-shirt. If I was gonna do it just barehanded, I would use the gloves, uh, but I can do it with a t-shirt and not get to any trouble. There's also that dauber applicator brush and I really, I think this is kind of a good tool to use because you can get really down in those welts and in some of those cracks. Now Thursday doesn't run white laces on these boots and so that's kind of good. You don't have to worry. If you're using Venetian on a different set of boots, maybe your Iron Rangers, a white stitch or something like that, then I'd be a little concerned. Uh, maybe just get the neutral. Again, I told you guys I'm gonna get the neutral next time I come around, but you're just doing those same old circular motions. Uh, don't forget to hit the tongue. That's a spot that kind of gets neglected from time to time. So we're gonna hit the tongue. And this is something you might do on a Sunday night, watching whatever you watch on TV or just kicking back, maybe having a conversation with your wife or however you wanna end up doing it. But I like to pull out a few pair of boots 
And that, I'm gonna get this heel stack too. That's an area, the heel stack and the welt that gets left behind. Uh, this is the good stuff that you can run on all kinds of different boots. And so if you do end up bringing out several pair of boots in one evening, well, you can use this across many of them on your handbags, on your, some people run it on the couch. It's really meant for your, your belts and your wallets, any of your leather products. They even recommend this stuff on all kinds of exotics and stuff I didn't think it would really be long on, but they, they're not afraid to run it anywhere. Uh, so I'd grab that neutral polish. That's about it, friends. It's not gonna be a huge drawn out process. So what I'm gonna do next, I always like to just hit it with a horsehair brush. Some guys say that's a step that isn't important, but you know, it's there's a little bit of waxes and stuff in there. And so this is just gonna make sure that you're spreading it around, kind of agitating the pores of that leather. I like to make sure and getting it down in that welt uh, and come across that tongue one more time. Real quick friends, I just wanted to do a water repellent test because this stuff is so awesome at shedding the water. It just, it, it can't, it refuses to stick on there. You can see it just beating up. And as I said, you can always spray some water repellent and stuff on there as well. But just right out the gate, this stuff actually offers some really good water protection. So in my estimation, friends, that gives it a really good polish. This is something that a gentleman's gonna take his wife out on the town, go to church. You know, I've preached a lot of weddings and sermons in this boot and got a bunch of compliments over the year. I think every time I polish them, I feel more confident, I feel good. You feel like you can take on whatever, you, whatever your job is throwing at you. Whatever's going on, you just feel that much better. Just like other manufacturers, they talk about giving it about 24 hours to wait and rest. So if I would run my Iron Rangers or something like that in the meantime, guys, as your boot collection grows, it gets easier to do that. I'm not afraid just to run them the same day, uh, but that's I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. If you think I missed something, if you've had a good or bad experience with Venetian shoe cream, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Guys, we're building quite the group of guys around here. It's fun to see the engagements in the comments. A lot of great fellas out there, so I'd love to hear from you. Make sure and hit the like button, and if you haven't, we'd love for you to subscribe to The Gentleman's Journey. We got a bunch of really fun videos coming out, some more boots, some more conditioning, and I'm keen to know what you think we should review. So until the next video, guys, God bless you, and hey, don't forget to show those boots some love from time to time.